Hi, I'm Sue Forster, a mixed media artist uh, from Richmond Hill, and uh, we put together an exhibition called Free Rain, uh, which is freedom of expression, and uh, I was inspired from a children's book to extend uh, what inspired me from the Horse Museum by Dr. Seuss. Hi, this is Archie, and uh, normally uh, I do lots of different types of uh, mixed media and also statues. Uh, related to the arts. These subjects today is about the horses that we choose and uh, there's a long way to go through many different uh, art that I have been through but time to time we just choose these subject or that subjects that uh, we can try to focus and magnify it. Um, I know Sue for a long time and uh, one of the reasons she inspired me a lot she, she had and she has life drawing studio that it just gives me that chance to see the reality of these subjects no matter what the human beings or their still lives and this has been very nice to me the aspects of Sue's art is related to I would say Art Nouveau and abstract lately and meanwhile she does lots of grotesque paintings and really it just balances part of my paintings that I do that's very nice, Archie. No problem. Thank, thank you. <laughs> we inspire each other. Um, uh, Archie's discovered color in a big, big way. Yeah. So yeah, well, I have been in the black. Not shy. So, <laughs> and you yeah. know, um, yeah. I think it's good to explore it because if you don't explore, you you don't grow. You just stay the same. And who wants to do that? Yeah. And we have had mm -hmm. many shows together mm -hmm. around the Toronto. So yeah. Okay. Um. Th this is um an experiment with oil paint on terra skin which is a clay based instead of using paper it's like clay based so it kind of saves the planet in a way and it's uh, kind of rubbery it, it's a really cool texture so when you 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 can go a little bit wild you know with with uh with a scraper and, and all of that and then i use liquid on top of that which is a little bit poisonous you have to be careful with that as a as a layer as a like a warm layer and then splashes right you know uh to show that it's it, like it's moving and you know in, in the wind and all of that so uh the uh this this was fun for me to do because it's it's from my head not from a photograph uh which i like to do too but i, I just want to do something from my head so uh, basically i like to show the movement of the freedom of the horses which it keeps me the subject of the Mustangs and their freedoms to the words and the way that inspired me to how to protect them to the nature that's why I use the mostly photorism as the movement of the moving colors to each other no matter what which kind of media I used since uh, at the same time I'm using to make the statues I always use very natural material around me. I could be in a backyard or something, for example, by horses. I made everything uh, from the stone, which is in the middle of it, and is the papers, and on the top of it, I used morning glory leaves that you can have grow in the backyard when it dries, and it's pretty soft that you can go search around it. So movement, to me, is the basic uh, matter to the living uh, human beings and animals. So the relation between the bounding to horses is the meaning that I'm searching for. So we have an array of interpretations of how we feel about the horse, symbolically and yeah. intuitively, and uh, we hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, and um, I would like to any viewer to see this bounding between human and animals. Uh, anything related to natural way that we can experience um, their lives, how we are connected to our lives. That's how I'm thinking. So. Yes, I agree. Uh, we are definitely connected to nature. We need nature more than nature needs us. Yeah. So, and uh, well, horses are majestic and yeah, yeah. they see through to your soul. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I want to hear thank you very much to the Library of Aurora that invite us and to be the all these hard work here in the background. Yes, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.